Ah, Japan with its language, its art, and of course, its uh, contributions to film and television, where would we be without them? I don't know, because America doesn't seem to be able to do anything original after all. So, what I'm going to talk about today is pretty much my introduction to, I guess, anime, really. Maybe Pokemon, but this is definitely an early entry. Uh, and today, we're going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! And for those of you who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually a TV series that was originally based on a manga. The manga was released um, from 96 to 2004, and the television show was from 2000 to 2004. So they actually wrapped up around the same time, which gives me hope for the series. So I watched this as a kid, and now I'm re-watching it as an adult to see if there's any good things or bad things about it. And there's plenty of both in the first episode, I can tell you that right now. So, what is Yu-Gi-Oh! As I explained, it's a card game, but basically it's about this character named Yugi Moto, who he and his friends uh, play the Duel Monsters card game, and they have to try to save the world from the evil that tries to take over it. And in the first season, the main evil is a guy named Pegasus. And so there was a pharaoh who had five millennium items, and he used to play these things called the Shadow Games, and all these things came out, and there's a lot of con confusing things. But the point is... He made these five millennium items, and now they're spread around the world, and everyone, whoever gets them has the power of God, basically. And Yugi has the millennium puzzle that he wears around his neck. So, let's start off. They're playing Duel Monsters, and it's Yugi versus his friend Joey, and Joey sucks. So, um, he says, hey, let's go to my grandpa's shop because that's where he's got all the toys and he's he's a little bit of a smart ass about it he is he's like he's like my grandpa has all the stuff like look at me he's that kind of kid um and they want to show him the rare card and his grandpa's card is super super prices or uh priceless and it's you know everything in the world and it is a um blue eyes white dragon and he will not sell it and a guy named kaiba overhears them talking about this and he follows them into the the duel thing and he offers them all these cards and everyone's like oh my god there's cards <laughs> and the grandpa won't do it because of what he says is the heart of the cards and apparently cards as in hoyle cards or something have hearts to them and in the duel monsters world you play with the heart and whoever has the most heart i guess is a winner it sounds very care bears if you ask me but uh that's how you win the game <clears throat> and <laughs> so when the grandpa says no um he sends his two goons in to go get the uh, kaiba sends his two goons in to go get the grandpa and they take him back uh to kaiba Cor corp i don't remember what it's called and he ends up losing the battle and then Yugi and his friends go to the game shop looking for the grandpa, find out what's going on, and then we see the grandpa, and he lose, loses, I'm sorry, and he's weakened from losing the card game. And there's really no other explanation, but basically he has to go to the hospital because he's losing so much strength. It makes absolutely no sense. It's very much kind of like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of like when Arwen's fate is tied to the ring. How? I don't know, but it is. And... Uh, so Pegasus ends up winning the Blue-Eyes White Dragon from his grandpa, and then at the end he rips it up so no one else can use it against him, and everyone's like, oh my god, Pegasus, brr. And, uh, you know, that's the end of the world. Well, they take, uh, Taya, Joey, and, um, Tristan take the grandpa Yugi's friends take him to the hospital while Yugi fights, and then Yugi puts on the Millennium Puzzle, and he, you know, does Yu-Gi-Oh! And he ends up going through puberty, basically, and comes out, and he's like, oh, hi, I'm Yugi. And it's, I don't know. And <laughs> there's this there's this card called Exodia. It's a five-card thing, and if you get all five of them, you win the game. It just automatically defeats your opponent's life points, and that's it. And Yugi, when he does it, that's not the surprise. But the surprise is the fact that nobody ever has ever done it except for Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's like, of course he is. Because he's the title character, and, you know, why wouldn't we just wait and do that on another episode? We have to do it in the first one. But before it happens, he gets ready to draw the card, and the deck senses his doubt. So apparently these inanimate objects are like AI and they can, you know, decide what's going on for you. And if you sense the doubt, it's going to change the card magic. 
magically. So maybe it is real magic. I don't know. Um, but yes, of course, he pulls it out and wins with Exodia. There's this big flash of light, and Kaiba's like, oh! He's like, he got attacked by a freaking Dragon Ball, you know, Z move, something like got Kamehameha, and he's just like, Exodia, no! And um, then Yuki does this thing where he, he lo looks at Kaiba and opens his mind, and then it shows a picture of Kaiba and just shatters. So it's like, did Yuki break his mind? What exactly happened there? I'd, I'd really like to know. And that might be explained later on. Um, and then at the very end of it, we see Pegasus, who's going to be an integral part of this whole show, being told about it by one of his henchmen. You know, oh, apparently Sato Kaiba's been beat by some little boy. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much how the episode ends. So, okay. Initial thoughts, it's absolutely ridiculous and silly. And that's it. I'm not overly invested in it. I'm going to try to finish the series in a review just because, like I said, it's something I grew up with and I'd kind of like to see where it is. But right now, not a fan. Not not really a fan. But that may change as things get get further down the line and we'll see in the next episode. But from what the little bit that I can remember now, it's not gonna. So anyway, that was Yu-Gi-Oh! The first episode. I will be back with another one soon. And uh, I'll be back with hopefully many more videos. I'm back, guys. Take it easy.